Hi everyone, this is Fahad Birza and I welcome you to the channel. OCR My PDF is a powerful free open source command line utility to convert scanned or image based PDF files into searchable and copy paste friendly documents using OCR or optical character recognition. In this video, we are going to install it locally and I am going to show you various examples as how can use it to your benefit and there are a lot of benefits i think this is one of the niftiest utility i am covering in the last couple of days using robust ocr technology powered by tesseract ocr my pdf adds accurate text layers beneath original scanned images leaving the visual content untouched but enabling easy searching indexing and text extraction Tesseract OCR engine internally uses machine learning techniques or AI techniques and models trained on large data sets to accurately recognize text from scanned images. OCR My PDF also processes multiple languages simultaneously, fixes rotated and skewed pages plus optimizes PDF file sizes and generates standard compliant PDF A files that ensure long term readability and preservation. It's quite lightweight and also supports multi-platform so it means you can run it on Linux, Windows and Mac OS and it reliably handles files of virtually any size. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I also want to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM. For this video, if you're looking to rent a VM or GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so let's start. First, let me quickly update my Ubuntu system. Should already be updated, but let's do it for the heck of it. Should it take too long? And that's all done. Next up, let's install this OCR My PDF through apt install. And I'm also installing some of the auxiliary library plus Tesseract, which is a OCR engine, as I mentioned earlier. So let's wait for it to get installed. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Okay, meanwhile, it has installed what we wanted to uh, install. So, in the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm also going to install some of the language support. So, for instance, first up, I'm just going to install the French with Tesseract. So, you can see that I'm installing it with OCR French because I'm also going to give it some documents with French in it. I will also be using some other languages, don't worry. So French one is done. Our OCR My PDF is also installed. If you want to check it out, you can simply run this command. And this is all the help which you can check out from this OCR My PDF. And then let's try to do one OCR. So I'm just going to go into my OCR My PDF directory where I already have some PDF files. I will also show you how to create a PDF file, by the way. So let me go here. So first up, I'm just going to show you a very simple example. So this is a PDF file, which contains some random data in English about myself. So let me show you how you can do the OCR with this PDF file. Now, in order to do the OCR, all you need to do is to run this command, OCR my PDF your source document and your target document which will be a searchable pdf and there you go it has created our pdf file from it and it has processed it if you go here and you can see that now this is our searchable pdf where you can do the searching and whatever you want to do so you can just click here and then start searching with it like you can say dell and there you go Okay, now if you look here on the terminal, it says something like PDF slash A. So this is 
a PDF file type which is a, uh, which is designed for archiving and long term preservation and the main objective here is to ensure that the PDF remains readable, stable and visually identical over many years across different platforms. So it contains everything. Okay, so now you know the basic use of this utility. And now let's check out the multilingual stuff. So I'm just going to use French and English PDF file. So this is a sample PDF file which contains some English text and some French text and also some mixed text. And this is where I'm going to do the OCR of it. For that, I'm just going to use this command. You see that I'm using this option of dash dash force OCR. So let me first remove it because you might also face this issue with few of the files where there is already uh, the whole text layer available or some text or OCR available. So if I run this, you see, you might get this error that prior OCR found. So in that case, simply use force OCR and that is going to do the trick for you. There you go. And if I go here, I'll just close this one. You can see that we have this output file. There you go. So now we have an searchable archive OCR file in the same format. Everything remains the same. Okay, in the next example, I'm going to give it this um, bit complex PDF file with a lot of images, some tabular data and all that stuff, some bullets and formatting. Let's see what it deal, what it does with it. Let's clear the screen. And I'm just going to use a simple OCR. So there are three pages of it and it is tackling them one by one. I'm just going to close this one and then let's see how it does it and you can see the speed is quite good i mean it's been just few seconds and it has already done it and then it is saying that output file is bigger and the reason could be that because we use the force ocr okay now i believe this is a file yep there you go yeah pretty good i would say yeah it has maintained everything it has even added these Okay, so good stuff. So not only it can deal with simple PDF files, but also these complex ones. Plus, you can have as long a file as you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Thousands of pages, it is going to deal with it. If you like, you can even rotate the PDF file. So if I go to my terminal and then run a command like this, where I am using the force OCR with rotate pages. So it is rotating the pages. So you see it is also rotating telling you the confidence around it that how much it is confident that rotating look good so there you go yep it has rotated it well there was not really much room for rotation but it did whatever it could in this format but if you have this portrait and landscape sort of thing where you really want to rotate it you can use this simple command with OCR my PDF. Okay, so let me show you one more example. Now let's suppose you want to add some metadata to your PDF such as title. So you see right now there is not really any title here. So I'm just going to maybe you can't see it. Let me put it down here for you. You see there is no title to this PDF file. I'll just expand it a bit. Sorry. It just says my PDF dot PDF. So let me close this. Let's go here. And then add a title i'm just calling it my document title let's wait for it title is done let's go back this is a file and there you go now we have this my document title and there are various other metadata elements which you can add and now let's say you have a huge collection of pdf document which you want to convert for that you can also speed up so for example if you have many many cpu cores you can run multiple parallel jobs as for example i'm running four parallel jobs here so if i run it it is going to it's just one page but you can do so it is bits you know one job runs on one cpu so in this case it doesn't matter but if you want to run it faster you can do this with this command it has already created it but okay so this is how you do the fast one now let me show you how you can create your own PDF file in Ubuntu and then maybe multiple languages we will try out. So for that, first let me create a file here. 
so i'm just you see i'm all i'm doing i'm just doing cat of these languages which are the top 25 languages from the world and there are all of them from european to african from south asian to southeast asian some indian languages some pakistani languages some chinese different you know korean and you know swahili and lot of other stuff okay the tool which you can use in order to convert this text file because you see it's a text file i'll just also sorry do it here so this is our text file let's convert it into pdf with n script and there you go so we have now this file so if you do it ls dash ltr now we have pdf file i can also show you it here this is a pdf file which contains all of these languages from across the globe so and you see that some fonts are off so it might not work as i want because my fonts are not installed in this so my apologies but anyway i can show you how you can do the language which is uh, not in here so the first step you would need to do is to install the language support with tesseract ocr so the all the languages which i showed you like turkish korean urdu you you need to install like it this so it is it going to install the support for that language this is going to take a few seconds and that is done and then you can use the same tool ocr my pdf with force ocr in all of these languages and you see all i have done i have just concatenated it with plus sign okay i think i don't have that file in my okay i think the name is maybe different let me quickly fix the name of this file and now i'm going to just uh, give it the correct command and this is going to do the multilingual ocr on, on top of it so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it as long as your fonts are installed it should support your language quite easily I will drop the link to it in video description try it out let me know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching